So... This series is cursed. <laughs> uh, welcome back from like a two-year hiatus on this series. We've been playing for like an hour and just realized that I haven't been recording any of it. Ah. Uh... Okay, recap episode. Let's go. Recap. Okay, uh. let me let me properly like <laughs> recap what's going on here because I was doing a really poor job when we were actually trying to uh, recap before. I will include in the description uh, what where the recap reaches like new content that hasn't been shown before uh, for those of you who are watching this on the playlist version. But most of you probably don't even know that this game was a thing that I had on my channel at some point, because it's literally been like two years. <laughs> yes. Also, welcome back to Sheila! Hello! Who also hasn't been on the channel for like two years, because the last thing we did together was this game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've started uploading Breath of Fire or not. No. <laughs> yeah, and you're going on with that by yourself anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, recap! Um, we are now in Disc 2 of Legend of Dragoon. Um, Chapter 2, Platinum Shadow. Um, what happened prior is we have our main character, Dart, um, who has been working as a mercenary for, I believe it's like five years or so, um, is returning to his home village when he finds out that it's been destroyed by some Imperial soldiers, and his childhood friend, definitely not girlfriend, please don't steal, um, got kidnapped and thrown in prison. That is Shauna. Um, so he goes to the prison to rescue her, and in process meets the soldier Levitz, who is in service of the Kingdom of Basil and King Albert. Um, so, after the prison break, they, they go back to the kingdom, visit the king, uh, report in, and uh, then they go help out with some stronghold stuff, where Dart is trying to help protect this, this stronghold, and he is on the ropes when they get attacked, and Rose comes into the picture, and says, hey, you have powers, wake up, and then Dart turns into a Dragoon. Um, also, weird thing I never noticed here, Shauna is primarily a healer. She has no skills outside of Dragoon powers, which we'll get to in a minute. Her magic attack is the lowest stat that goes up from her Dragoon, when it's like the one thing you think she would actually be using. Yeah. I think Rose has the highest magic attack in the game. She's like, really good attack, but really low HP. Yeah, she's your glass cannon. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, um, let's see. Dart's a Dragoon now, Rose was always a Dragoon. Dart kind of asks Rose to mentor him in how to be a Dragoon. Um, Dragoons are dragon warriors that are called upon when the world needs them. Um, so they, at this point, they are going to a trade city. They have to go through a poison forest to get there, I think? Yeah. Um, where Shauna gets overcome with poison. They fight another dragoon who used to be Levitz's, like, father's best friend, who uh, betrayed him and started working for the opposing faction in the Civil War. Um, and then the party kills him, Levitz inherits his Dragoon spirit, they go to Lohan, which is the trade city in Sertio, um, and they have to go find the cure for this poison that Shauna's been inflicted with. Um, they go to a shrine to find the plant that was the cure, come find out the plant hasn't existed in a while, but the caretaker of the shrine is a spirit who lets you have the white dragoon spirit. Um, she tells you, hey, you 
need to just resonate this with your own Dragoon Spirit and it will heal Shauna. They get back to Lohan, they, they try to resonate stuff, and they don't even need to do that because Shauna actually is a Dragoon. Um, woo, surprise. Also, when we killed the Dragoon in the forest, Levitz gained its ability and became the new Green Dragoon. Yes. Um, so, let's see. There's a tournament arc in Lohan as a nice little distraction from everything that's happened so far. In process, Dart fights this warrior named Lloyd, who completely overtakes him. He is too fast, too strong. Um, as soon as the tournament's over, they find out that the king has been kidnapped and thrown in prison and is likely going to be executed. Um, so they go to the prison to try and save him. Um, also, I think Hashel joined us during Hashel the tournament arc. A, yeah, Hashel... Well, okay, so what happened was is that uh, Hashel was in the tournament, and then Dart's like, Hey, you're here, long time no see. Uh, we haven't seen each other since we met up while you were looking for your runaway daughter, and I was looking for the black monster who destroyed my hometown. The black monster, yes. Um, so they go save the king... Um, the reason why the king was kidnapped, they get into this, is because he was holding on to this, um, national artifact called the Moon Gem. Um, so they... And I had completely forgotten about that, even. Yep. Um, so they go save Albert, but not before Lloyd comes in, uh stabs Levitz, killing him, and takes the moon gem from Albert, and then runs off. Albert's like, okay, I'll join your party because um, I want to honor Levitz, and also because I'm a dragoon now. Yeah, um, so Albert gained all of Levitz's powers, as well as becoming the new green dragoon, inheriting Levitz's legacy. And Albert basically is just Levitz, except better. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> yes. Um, so they go to the Black Castle to fight the opposing emperor, um, who is Albert's uncle. Um, it doesn't really matter, but just kind of like the intrigue going on in that civil war. Um, he's also a dragoon, the Purple Dragoon. Um, we fight him, we kill him, Hashel inherits the Purple Dragoon spirit, um, the Emperor in his dying breath says, hey, all of this has been orchestrated by Lloyd, who is, um, that really strong dude that you fought in the tournament and who also killed Levitz and stole this gem from Albert, and he, the Emperor says, hey, Lloyd has gone to Tiberoa, go stop him. So now we're in Tiberoa trying to stop him, but we can't find him. And we've been informed that there's a moon that never sets, that is literally just hovering in the same spot in the sky always. And sometimes it glows red. And when it glows red, bad things happen. Like the black de black monster appears and destroys things. Yes, but and everybody thinks that the moon child... Well, every 108 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, the world shall be bathed in a holy bliss and a moon child given to the earth. However, what actually happens is the black monster comes down and destroys everything in its path. That is the folk tale that is going to be on repeat throughout this story. Also, I did check through uh, and reset some of my moves because, oh boy, I'm going to have to relearn how to play this game. Uh, You're about to get into some combat where you can learn, relearn how to play this game. So in the past hour, all we really did was explore this city. Uh, and, and came across Claire Bridge. <laughs> and came across Claire Bridge, which happens to be both the name of Hashel's daughter, runaway daughter, and also the name of Darts. Uh, mom. But every Darts' mom, yes. Darts' mom, not the name of Darts. <laughs> uh, however, it has been decided that uh, that's probably just a coincidence. There's 5% of the population is named Claire. Like, mm, probably just a coincidence, and also the two look nothing alike. Sure, whatever. Uh, there's a dude who wants to make all the barons here not be barons. 
The this, princess is a bitch. The princess is a royal bitch. Uh, that is the way back to Serbia. Oh. Oh, okay. So these two places are just separated by these mountains. Yes. Fair enough. They're all on the same continent. There are four. There are three con. Three countries on this continent. Fair enough. I have to remember how to play this game again. Uh, so attacking will have you attack with the currently equipped edition. Guard decreases the amount of damage you take by half, and also increases your um, your health by ten percent of your maximum. Um, guard is super overpowered in this game. Um, items, you can use a variety of different items, and escape is obvious. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's see how much I fail at quick time events. Very. <laughs> very. Very is the answer. Also, in process of your additions, the enemy has the opportunity to counter. The, gr the screen will flash red if they're going to do that, and your next hit has to be done with the circle button rather than X. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the counter. That was a little early. But I got 30 SP for it. And when now that my SP gauge is full, I can turn into a dragoon. I don't think it has to be completely full. Like, so it doesn't have to be max. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is reached full twice. So now I can stay in dragoon state for longer. Two turns. Two turns. Uh, so I can turn into a dragoon if I want to. I don't really see any need to do so at the moment. You can also miss. I can also just straight up miss. Uh, I believe you have to succeed in doing an addition in order to level it up. Correct. That was also a little early. Yep. Or it'll just run away. Okay, sure, whatever. Yay, we win. <laughs> and different additions have a different number of quick time events you have to do. And I believe you have to do all of them correctly in order for it to count towards the level up. <laughs> yep. You have to actually get to the point where they shout out the attack's name. Yep. And I need to press up there instead of left in order to continue. That transition sucks. Alright. I am curious what Hashel's abilities will be. Uh... Wow, these guys do not like to get hit. They really don't. But they like to hit me. Double punch. Double punch. Okay, well we finally got we finally got a move. Oh, he just gains SP per turn. That must be due to his equipment. He's got uh, a spirit ring equipped. I do like that you get a little bit of SP. Re Regardless, as long as you rely on the hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, you'll definitely do a lot more damage if you... And there goes a level up for Shauna. Cool. <laughs> Hooray. She is a parasite upon the party. She's just sucking XP. There we go. All right, we got to go to the Barrens. You will probably want to save. You know what? That's fair. You can save freely on the overworld map. Let's go ahead and do that. I can't believe we played for an entire hour and I forgot to hit the record button. <sighs> the series is cursed. Uh, but yeah, also one thing I think we didn't mention that I think is warranted, uh, this entire area is obsessed with stars. Like, every single person you talk to is just all about stars. They're also all about Dano, which is the other city in this country. <laughs> yeah, it's either Dano or it's Stars. Like, everyone here is just nemesis from uh, Resident Evil. They j it just wants Stars. Okay, so it looks like we can go up there to get a treasure. Aha! Warrior dress. I believe that is an equipment for Hashel. Interesting. There has got to be a There has got to be a way to sort my items, and they're probably it. There, it, that indeed, that indeed is good equipment for Hashel. Uh, that is extremely good equipment for Hashel. 
that defense and magic defense is huge. All right, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give you that. Uh, you know what, item list? Sort. Oh, thank God. All right. That's already sorted. I think that is going to help tremendously. Yeah, so I can do that, which gives me a fire-based attack. Which can be good, but if they resist fire, then that's a problem. Uh, the spirit ring just gives me SP every turn, but I don't think that counts towards getting uh, the dragoon spirit level up. It does. It does? Yes. Wow, that's... Any any SP you gain, whether that's from uh, attacking, your equipment, um, equipment that gives you SP as a result of getting attacked, or using spirit potions in battle, it doesn't matter how you get the SP. All SP contributes to the invisible um, SP uh, progression bar to get your Dragoon level up. All right, cool. That's... That is amazing, uh, and also overpowered. Got it. So if I want someone's Dragoon level to be going up, I need to give them that. Uh, I don't feel like the Red Eye Stone is particularly needed for you right now. Maybe one of these War God Amulets. War God Calling. You might want that on Albert. You could also try and practice his Rod Typhoon a little bit more, um, but on anything that's got... On any person who's got any particular, like, hard addition, you will probably want to put the War God's Calling on them. Hmm, that's fair. I feel like I... I feel like the answer, though, is that I just need to get good. Yes. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> also, yeah, if you use the War God's Calling, it doesn't, um contribute to the addition leveling up. Oh, yeah, then I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, that's right. You know a battle's going to come up because your thing, your little icon above your head will change color, and when it gets to red, you're about to get into a battle. There is supposedly an item that will make it so that you don't get into battles, but I have not ever gotten it to actually function. So, <laughs> or like, I don't know how in the world it actually is supposed to work. They really don't like him. Nope. They really they don't really like him. They really don't like him. Alright. I might need to have him heal himself a little bit. Well, he can guard. Okay, I need to press that a little bit before it comes in. Noted. So there is a little bit of a delay. I have to buffer it a little bit. Okay. So that was the issue. Just like what I encountered with Mario, I just gotta buffer the input a little bit. Yeah, you'll probably want to guard with Albert. He's, uh... And I'm poisoned. Oh, wonderful. Alright, well, yeah. Albert can guard, get his HP back a little bit. You can become a purple dragoon now, which I'm very curious as to what your ability is. But I'm not curious enough to actually do anything about it. Do status ailments go away after battle? Not poison. Crap. And I have to use an item to get rid of it. Because nothing else will work. Might be better to just wait until I, I beat these guys, though. I think so, because either one of those scissor hands can poison. Yeah. There we go. Yep, just got to buff in the input. All right, let's take out the other scissor hand. Not that <laughs> Not 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 that far ahead of time. <laughs> wow, they really don't like Albert. All right, well I guess Hash will get another turn. Will Albert actually get a turn again? <laughs> Ah, uh, almost there. You're almost there. There we go. Hmm, okay. A little early there. Alright, well, at least I got double punch down. 
Oh, hey, you stunned him. Oh, cool. Man, I just keep taking poison damage. Nice. There we go. Just gotta relearn how to play this game. And I got a healing potion, which That's I might just nice. want to use. <laughs> Possibly. All yeah, right. Definitely heal dirt. Noted. Uh, body purifier. Yeah. Okay. I probably I might want to pick up a couple more of those in town if things here are actually going to be aggressively poisoning. Probably. But let's go ahead and heal. Tempted to heal Albert as well, but I'm not as concerned there. I also don't know how big this place is, so I might be okay. Oh, it's getting to yellow. I saw a bird in the distance. Oh boy. Bandits? Bandits! Bandits. Are you dating those girls in a place like this? No? Who are you? Ooh, who are we? Guess they think we're a bunch of doctors. What? <laughs> Should be a quack. <laughs> we are the only one and only gay rich gang. Uh-huh. How should I cook these dumb heads? Okay, I guess they're cannibals, too. Let's get our reward of money and the bimbos. Uh, okay. How about a miserable ending for you, though? Yeah, I don't think so, guys. Like, mercenaries against bandits. Get out of our way or you'll need a real doctor. <laughs> Smash them, brother! Are these guys also monsters? The two on the side look like they're monsters. They're just bandits. Well, I mean, I've killed a lot of people in this game. I'm honestly tempted to just go full Dragoon on these guys. You probably should. This is a boss. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, bet you haven't seen this before. Hmm, <laughs> do I want to use the magic? You know what, sure. Why not? Uh, cause explosion will just hit everybody. And that's neat. I like damaging all opponents. Yep. That is quite nice. Explosion! I think there's a way to shorten the animation if you want to, but I'm not 100% on that. And also... Not it's... for attack animations. Ah, okay. It's also been like two years, so... Even if there was, I wouldn't want to skip it the first time anyway. Because <laughs> I don't remember what these animations look like. That was actually some really good damage. You know what? Time for Dragoon! Let's see what the purple Dragoon do. Or as I like to say it, does this Dragoon armor make me look fat? <laughs> Yeah, it does give a little bit of, uh... He's got some barrel chest to him on that one. Alright, I gotta know. Thunderstrike, 50%. Okay, so it's just a single, single attack. target thunder move. Sure, let's target down one of the crafty fiends first. I feel like you could have just called that, like, Thunderbolt? Because <laughs> that's all it was! Atomic Mind seems like an interesting name for that move. Mm-hmm. Once again, nobody likes Albert. Oh, hey, they're actually attacking... I think that's the first time he's gotten attacked. All right. Albert, I'm gonna do this right. I didn't do no, it right. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm not going to do this right. Ooh, Hashel's actually taken some 
serious damage. I might want to defend. Hmm. Hmm. Or I could heal. Or I could just, you know, use an actual healing item. You could. Might, might, uh, be an intelligent thing to do here. Alright. Darts, let's go ahead and use another explosion, just like... I don't... It might be enough to take out the guy on the right. He's taking a little bit of damage at this point, but... Honestly, just get some good damage on all the opponents. I feel like is a good plan here. There we go. Okay, yeah, that was enough, so... One of them down. That's one down. I will leave Dracoon State now. Which means I won't have as much defense or magic defense, but these guys don't seem to really use magic. I do also have attack items that I could be using. But those do not build up SP. Alright. Um... You know what? Heal Albert. This will mean I will be out of, like, normal healing items. But... You can pick some of those up in the next town, though. Yeah. Alright. Albert? Really? A little felt, early. Felt like I got it that time. Apparently not, though. Alright, fine. Yes. I, again, I was too early there. This game is really all about timing, and I just gotta get the timing back down. Alright. I also do feel like the lower level abilities are a lot more lenient in their timing. Probably. Really? Alright. Well, at least Hashel can do damage. <laughs> Or I can mess up. Although even when I messed up, he did a lot more damage than uh, than. Oh dang! Uh. That was just barely off. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna try it with Albert again because I really, really. Hmm. I find it... There we go. There we go, okay. I just really haven't gotten it down with Albert. Nah, Hashel can just do his regular attack. Probably should have gone Dragoon just to do more damage, but whatever. You know what, Albert? Use, like... I don't know. Don't need to use a multi-hitter, but, like... Multi just oh, means you have to button mash for that's it. That's right, that's right. So I do want to do a single... Yeah, do a single target... Uh, dark attack. Why not? Well, you know, that did about as much as darts or Hashel when they do a normal attack. <laughs> you know what, sure, go ahead and use Dragoon. It is a boss battle, this is the time to be using them, so... I am remembering why I typically keep Rose in the party, because she is a very powerful special attacker, so all of those attack items she'll do a ton of damage with, uh, which is incredibly useful in boss fights. Uh, and also just her attack magic is also very, very good. And just her regular attack, she's just really good. Mm -hmm. Rose is just very good. Rose is very good. Oh, I guess I hit a threshold. Okay. <laughs> I did enough damage. <laughs> Even though I failed... Albert's cutscene. 
or addition every time. It's my fault. I won't do it again. Please forgive me. Just kidding. Did you knock away my dragoon spirit? He's just holding it in his pocket or some shit. Shiny. Ooh, the shiny. I want to recruit the thief. All right. So I no longer have Dragoon power. You no longer have Dragoon as dirt. But I got total vanishing. <laughs> and we got Hashel up a level. And Albert. And Dart. Dart went up two levels. He went up Dragoon level. Oh. Unfortunately, you can't use it. But I got... Final burst. Oh, that is the best. <laughs> I love that move. You, you you use that move a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a juicy pickle. Now I gotta find that guy. Oh, it's my fault for not being careful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. How did you lose that? Oh, that's the last thing I wanted. I think it's the last thing anybody wants. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct mo Well, I mean, probably better than just exploring the desert agnosium, but, like, I, I don't mean, know. I mean, yeah, we should... We don't have any, uh, info, so, like... Yeah, I suppose that's maybe true. Maybe someone in the other town knows about this bandit gang. Do I want to keep using Albert? I completely fail in his ability, and Hashel actually does more damage. <laughs> up to you. But Albert does have really good Dragoon powers that's not getting build up at all because I keep failing with his ability. Really, I just gotta get good? If I just get good, that, that answers the problem. But... Oh. That is not the correct way. But where does this go? Where does it go? You're going over mountains. But I want to know where it go. You can find out where it goes. I'm not going to stop you. Oh, hey. We've got... Lionel? Okay. Arrow, Arrow shooter. shooter. Yes. I'm gonna say you probably want to unequip the spirit ring from Dart. It doesn't do him any good right now. Fair enough. Oh, so close. Oh, it was enough to take him out, but did not get did not get the stuff. All right. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I should just give him something that helps him do more physical damage or something. Oh, okay, there's floating rocks over there. There are floating rocks over there. Oh, that turns on... Turns on labels of some sort. <laughs> of some sort that are off-screen. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, Dart, let's, uh... Power wrist? Maybe a power wrist. Stun guard. Um... Ooh, poison guard. That would be nice. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go with the poison guard. Just because of where I am. Maybe put Albert with the spirit ring? Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. No. No, I don't even know what the therapy ring does. It increases her HP every turn. That, yeah, that's a good thing for her to have. Because she has very little HP. Yes, indeed. Alright. Let's, uh, let's not do that. <laughs> You don't want to go to Floating Rock Land? Look, I want an inn, and I don't think that's going to happen at Floating Rock Land. <laughs> nope. Nope, it's not. An inn would be very helpful right now, as well as an item shop. She gained zero? Oh, that's because she's full HP. She gets HP, not SP. Yes. Right. Nice! There we go. Don't you poison him. Okay. Yes. 
the second one comes way slower. Got yes. it. Yes. Man, that is quite on a, that is on quite an input delay. It really is. Uh, I think it's because a this is a PlayStation One game being played on a PS2 on a new TV. Not exactly the hardware it was ever made for. Uh, two, I'm running it through an Elgato, which already creates a little bit of delay. Uh, well, that's and awful. three, it's getting run through a splitter as well, so that I can actually put it on the TV. Oh. So I think everything is on a delay. That's <laughs> possible. Because I was noticing this when I was playing through uh, Mario 64 recently, where if I want to do a wall jump, I actually have to like input the button prompts for that like half a second before I even hit the wall. Jeez. And then it will work. But, you know, I do have to actually do that. <laughs> Recovery ball. Random healing item. Neat. Can I? I want to go that way. That looks like a rock I want to explore. All right, fine. Because that looks like something that would have stardust. <laughs> This... Would you like me to give you hints when you're in an item. area that has stardust? I mean, I'm not going to get all the stardust. You aren't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's already been numerous places where I've been permanently locked out of getting stardust. You are never permanently locked out of getting stardust. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That is not something I expect from an old RPG. No, you are always able to go back to previous areas to get stardust. And stardust will never be in an area where that is in the future inaccessible. Oh, okay. Except for the point of no return. Fair. Really? Faster than Albert? Albert's just not been actually getting a many attacks in, which is weird. Yeah. Also, his HP is low. I should probably actually have him defend here. I seem to remember Rose's magic sucks HP from other from the enemy to heal her. I don't think it heals the rest of the party though. It does. Oh, it does heal the rest of the party. I might want to use that. All right, Albert needs to defend. Yes, he does. And I think I might just want to go ahead and actually use this. And, okay. Single HP. Lethal attack for all. Single and HP. So I think this is the only one that actually drains. Correct. Uh, let's hit that one. feel like it would be a little bit overkill on the other one. Mm-hmm. Healing poop. <laughs> yeah. So the a lot of Rose's magic animations are not exactly flattering. Oh wow, that did a lot. To be fair, her magic attack stat is incredibly high, and I have a feeling that these guys don't have a whole lot of magic defense. Probably not. All right, you. No, not I am guard. Buddy, I'm gonna need you to uh, work with me here. Although I suppose, since he doesn't have a Dragoon Spirit, he doesn't get any SP at all. Correct. So it doesn't matter as much. It does matter for the leveling of his abilities, though. Which, I do want to level his abilities. But, you know. It's not as critical <laughs> as it could be. All right, let's just uh, let's just keep going here. Maybe I'll maybe I should switch in. Well, I mean I'm out of the desert now. Yeah, we'll just go to the Flower City. Well, 
this place is pretty. It is called the Flower City. Little oasis in the middle of nothing. Oh, thank God. You don't look like bandits. Your clothes are so filthy that at first I thought you might be. <laughs> well, we did just come out of a desert. Well, we are covered in dust. Maybe we should, I don't know, take a bath? Find an inn? I mean, it's not that bad. Look, we don't have time for fooling around. Go flirt on your own time. I'm concerned about the Dragoon Spirit. Yeah, you really should be. Luckily, Everybody I, should be. Luckily, I don't think he can, like, awaken as the Red Dragoon, because I already am, but... What are you going to do? Oh, well, we're currently deciding that. You are one of the sacred sisters of... I'm not even going to try. I always said male to see you. Sure. But it's probably... I'm probably mispronouncing that because it's hella French looking and <laughs> I don't know French. <laughs> like Mille or some shit. Alright, so we got kidnappers trying to set... Oh, hey Lloyd. Hi Lloyd. I don't think Lloyd cares. Oh, please, continue. If you don't mind dying. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think so, buddy. Kill Nothing. Him. He tried to stab him and ricochet off. <laughs> I don't think Lloyd literally did a thing. <laughs> it's like trying to punch a rock. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Eh. No, but really, I really don't want to be bothered by you, lady. <laughs> Lloyd. My name is Wink! Okay. Okay. Oh, Lloyd. Don't get too infatuated. He literally tried to destroy several nations. For something. Still not sure what exactly his MO is, but I'm sure it has something to do with the moon. Why did you go, Lynn? Why are you having a wedding? It's impossible to have a talk with the Garrix. Did you mention Garrix? Once again, walking into the exact building I need to walk into. Exactly. Right off the bat. This had happened... In the last town, during the, like, hour we were playing, I apparently have a knack for walking into the exact place I need to for story progression while I'm just not trying to progress the story and just explore. Oh, we're not bandits. Really? Really? You're not bandits? You look like bandits. Okay, we're not bandits. What's going on with the Garrix? Because we need to find them. When I finished my errands, Lin was gone. Who is Lin? In his let. Oh! Okay, Lin is a boy. Not what I was expecting. Uh, it says he's going to persuade the gang to pull out of the city. I don't think that's gonna go over well. I have an idea. If I show this letter to the mayor, he might be able to do something to help. You didn't think to consult the mayor or the local government about this in the first place? Or, you know, his father? <laughs> yeah. Why did you have to... You have to wait for Lin right here. God knows if you're not home and he walks home, then you know what? He's just gonna leave again. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess we have to find Lin so this lady can ever leave her house again. Uh, if we don't do that, then... She will she, never be able to leave her house. She's gonna starve. Again. She's gonna starve. Like, she she can't go outside without Lynn. Like... Alright. Oh, hi, Bandit. 
The city belongs to us. If you want to survive, don't mess with us. How about I mess with you? I'm gonna wiggle <laughs> all around you. <laughs> Where does this go? Maybe to a shop? It goes to a guy with... Oh, that's a cape. It really looked like wings. Look here at the person who saved the life of Sister Wink. You're not doing a very good job about it. You think he's under the floorboards or something? <laughs> oh, what? That's it? Fine, we'll let you. But only today. Is that the guy who took my stuff? That looked like the guy who took my stuff. <laughs> that does indeed look like the guy who took your stuff. Oh. Can you buy something to help me? I mean, I do need poison heal. And also just regular heal. You really do need some regular heal. So let's get a few of those. And also apparently I need some poison heal. So let's get a few of those. That should do ya. Yeah, I think that's probably good, yeah. What do you have to say, small tr person? I don't see Ma and Pog flattering gangs anymore. Well, have you considered getting an army together? Like, you're part of a kingdom. Alright. Okay. Oh, that's what you will currently have equipped. I don't see any reason to equip her. Um, like, I'm sure there will probably be a point where I have to use her later. Hit rate of magical attacks go up by 10%. Hey. I mean, yeah, that's better in every way, so... Also, her magical attack goes up by a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I probably should just equip you, huh? You could. You could wait. Up to you. <sighs> See, I know that at some point they're gonna pull this, you have to use this particular party member thing. Games always do that. RPGs mm -hmm. always do that. And if I have her really under-equipped at that point, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna please be pleased with myself. But at the same time, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So I'm not gonna worry about it now. I can worry about it at the next town when it has more of an impact. How about that? What? Oh. Sure. Uh. Okay. This is for status effects, because they don't get healed at ends. Oh, okay. See, and I had forgotten about that. Alright. What do you have to say? It's a nice day. Best day for laundry. See, you have all these guards out here. Why aren't they doing anything? Have you heard the name Sister Wink? No. No. I don't know who that person is. Why should I care? Why aren't you doing anything about all the bandits in the town? Eh, they're from miles to see you. Like, they... They only care about... These guys only are Sister Wink's guards, not, not the city's guards. I'm guessing up through here is probably where I will find the mayor. Actually, no. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, over here I can get healed. My brother's wimpy. I'm acting as bodyguard. Is this your brother? He's much bigger than you. <laughs> Let's stay the night, because I need health, please. Yes, health would be very helpful. Please heal. And also, I should save. Saving is also very helpful. Note that you no longer have the Red Dragoon Spirit. Yeah. Because you done screwed up, Dart. Yeah. And unfortunately, they won't let me switch Dart out of the party to someone nope. who does have a Dragoon Spirit. So you can't even perform a Dragoon special until you, know you get that back. I'm going to switch in Hashel. He doesn't have as much Dragoon ability, but you know what? At least I can do his attack. <laughs> Fair. Uh Alright, I should probably finish exploring this town. I should probably explore this town more. Man, there's more to this town. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, okay, what's in here? Let's just take a look. What is this place? Oh, it's the church. Every the place, church of stars. Every place has a church. Oh, please tell me it's not another church. Pichu, Pichu. This is not Pokemon. <laughs> this is not Pokemon. Gangs on the land, sea dragons in the sea. All right. I don't know why, but gangs come here a lot. They don't have any faith. It's been one month since we reported damage by the bandit. Nothing happened. Nobody came. Endure the hardship, overcome sorrow. All right, got it. Your town has been abandoned. Except for by the one guy who wants to grow flowers in the desert to make the bandits leave. Because that's how that works. Yep. That's how that works. Alright. Well, we need to finish exploring this town and find the mayor. Uh, but I think this is probably probably a good spot uh, to end things off for right now. I don't know when this is going up. I don't know when the next episode's going up, but we're playing this game again. Yay! Cuckoo. So, might as well save again, just because. And hopefully next time, I won't forget to uh, turn the recording on for an hour. Because, <laughs> uh... That sucked. But luckily, we didn't do a whole heck of a lot in that time. <laughs> yep. So... But we'll see you guys later with more Dragoon, whenever that happens. <laughs> Yeah.